Hey guys, welcome to the second part of this subdivision modeling training for Cinema 4D. In the second part, we're going to be talking about quads and triangles. Now whenever you're modeling using the subdivision method like we're doing here, it's very important to remember that triangles are very, very bad. We're going to go over here why, but it's always important to remember this. Quads are good, triangles are bad. Okay, so I'm sure some of you are probably wondering, what is this guy talking about when he says quads and triangles? Well, it's all about geometry. Triangle, of course, is a three-sided face. A quad is a four-sided face. So instead of saying square or rectangle, I'm going to be saying quad. So to illustrate the problems that will occur when you have triangles in your mesh, I have this very simple 90 degree angle here. And this is made up of quads. You can see we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And of course, these here are four-sided faces as well. So all of this is made up of quads. So if we turn on the hypernerve, you can see that everything here is very nice and very smooth. There are no artifacts. Everything is very smooth. And if we select the hypernerve, you can see that everything here is quads. There are no triangles in this at all. So let's introduce a triangle. So to introduce a triangle, I'm just going to grab the knife tool and I'm going to make a cut from one corner up here down to the bottom corner. And by doing that, we have now introduced a triangle. One, two, three. There's a triangle there and one, two, three sides there make another triangle. So now we have split this quad into two triangles. So let's see what happens now when we turn the hypernerve back on. Okay, obviously you can see that there is an artifact there. We've got this nasty bulge. If we look at it from a side view, you can see here the bulge is happening right there. If we change the display, you can see the bulge right there. So this artifact is caused by the triangle. So to solve this issue one way, is to just select these two polygons here, right click and choose dissolve. And that will turn it back to a quad. Now the artifact is gone and we're back to everything being nice and smooth. So let's introduce a uneven sided face. Let's just say a five sided face. So to do that, we need to grab the knife tool again and I'm going to make a cut starting right here on this edge. I'm just going to make a cut straight down. And that's going to give us five sides. You're probably thinking, well, wait a minute, where are they at? Okay, well, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now I know this looks like a quad because it's square shaped, but because we made this cut down here on the bottom, it's actually split this edge into two. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. And of course, five is an uneven number. And if we turn the hypernerve back on, you can see that now we've got a nasty artifact bulge there where that five-sided face is. Now, the more cuts you have and the more subdivisions in that area where the problem is, the more pronounced the problem is gonna be. So if we were to take the knife tool again and make another cut down here, and maybe we'll make another cut here and one here. You can see that now the problem has been greatly amplified and looks horrible. Now if you want to solve this problem, what we need to do is just take these four edges here and either delete them and get rid of them, or if you need them, then we just need to take them and continue them on until we get to the back side of the geometry here. So we'll just take and make these cuts and just continue on like that, and now the problem has been solved. Now these particular issues will only tend to happen around areas of a corner or a bend or where the geometry is not flat. So I'm going to undo this a couple of times to get back that nasty artifact we had there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two edges here, and I want to show you what happens when we flatten out the geometry. So what you want to do is just keep your eye on this nasty geometry area here where this artifact is at. And 
Now notice what happened when I pulled that out to straighten everything out so it's nice and flat. The artifact is gone. That's because these uneven sided faces will usually generate artifacts on corners and bends. So here we have a flat surface. There's no corners. There's no bend. There's no angle to it at all. So of course, there's not going to be any artifacts. Now sometimes you might find yourself modeling something with a flat surface. And of course, like I've just shown you, you can get away with having messy geometry. But it's always good practice to have good topology, always following the flow of edges and working with quads. As you can see, the surface here can have horrible topology. So I'm just going to get the knife tool and I'm just going to hack this up really quick just to just to make a big mess. Okay, so here we have this huge mess, but notice even though the topology here is absolutely horrible, with the hypernerv on, there aren't any artifacts. Everything is nice and smooth. But the moment we take this plane and try to bend it over and create an angle, that's when we're going to suffer. So this is why it's always good to practice clean topology using quads and following the flow of edges of your object. Okay, so we'll go over one more thing and I'm just going to undo this a couple of times just to get back the nice clean geometry that we originally had. Okay, so now we're back with these four quads and I'm gonna grab this middle point here in the back and I'm gonna pull it forward, say to about right there. And I'm gonna grab the knife tool and I'm gonna make a loop cut in the center about there and also over here. And I'm gonna take these two points here and I'm just gonna pull those back a little bit. All right, now, if you'll notice, everything is quads. Everything is a four-sided face, there's no triangles. Now, if we turn the hypernerves on, Look what happens up here at the very front. There's a little bit of a bulge there. You can see it right there coming off of the front on that corner. Now, of course, in this case, we don't want that. That's actually something that's not gonna look right. So in order to fix this problem and control it, we need to insert a control edge. So I'm gonna turn the hypernerv off. So when I say control edge, what I mean is we need to introduce an additional edge cut in to control that artifact that we were experiencing. So I'm going to grab the doodle tool. And we want to make an edge cut right along there. And what that's going to do is it's going to help us control this 90 degree edge corner here and it's going to prevent that artifact or that bulge from showing up. And more than likely, we may have to make an additional edge along here as well. So I'm gonna grab the knife tool. I'm gonna to go in line mode. I'm gonna to go to a top view, and I'm gonna make the cut right along here. So there is our control edge, and if we turn the hypernerve on, you can see that now that bulge has been eliminated. So if we were to take these points here on this newly created control edge, we can push those back to kind of help soften up that corner, or we can push them forward to help tighten it up. Now, if you want to get it even tighter than that, then you can take the knife tool again, make a cut across the bottom, and by doing so, now you can see that that corner has become tightened up even more. So sometimes you'll find yourself working in quads and your geometry will be nice and clean, but you're still going to encounter the problem of a bulge like we have here. So you may need to insert an additional edge cut in order to help control your edges. Okay, so by now I hope that you can see just how important it really is to model in quads and to avoid triangles and uneven sided faces because with an uneven sided face they are mathematically impossible to solve to turn into an even sided face and the only way to really deal with those is just to delete them and just rebuild that part of the geometry with quads okay so that about wraps up this lesson and thank you for watching